everybody, I'm Daisy May. I'm from the Edmonton Journal, and today we're here with one of the most famous pilots in all of the world and the fourth woman in North America to get her license, Katherine Stinson, the famous flying school girl. She's originally from Fort Payne, Alabama, and we're so fortunate to have her here today. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. I'm so happy I get to be part of this historic occasion. Uh, it's an, a pleasure to have you here. To, uh, Today we're going to be talking a bit with you. <laughs> so we know we've been flying for a long time and we just want to know how did it all begin? So it wasn't easy to get to where I am today. I originally wanted to be a piano teacher but unfortunately my family didn't have enough money to send me to school in Europe to take lessons. So in order to raise the money myself I decided to become a stunt pilot. This wasn't easy though as women are not very well represented in aviation today. It took a lot of convincing, but eventually I got Max Lilly, who is an amazing flight instructor and pilot, to teach me how to fly. After my first flight, I fell in love and I left my dreams of becoming a piano teacher behind. Well, that's amazing. We all wish we shared that sort of perseverance. We see today that you brought your own plane. Do you mind telling us a bit more about it? Sure. So my plane was built for me by the Curtis Aeroplane Company. It was designed specifically for me, and since I learned to fly in one of the Wright Brothers' original planes, they put the specific controls of those planes in the aircraft for me. They're not often used anymore as they're very difficult to operate. Instead of having a control column or rudder pedals, they have two levers. Well, that sounds really confusing. I'm sure they took a lot of training to be able to do those amazing stunts. We also noticed that there's a red cross in your tail. Do you want to tell us about its significance? Yeah, so I used to fly for the Red Cross. This is to help raise money and spread awareness for their war efforts. This also allowed me to keep flying during the civilian, uh, the wartime ban on civilian flying. That's very admir admirable of you. <laughs> um, we also want to talk a bit about some of your most memorable trips. Can you tell us about some of your favorites? So I think one of my most memorable flights of my career was flying from San Diego to San Francisco. This was a non-stop flight of 610 miles and it took me nine hours to complete. And before me, no other man or woman had been able to do this flight before. Another one of my favorite moments was when I became the first woman to fly in Japan. It was amazing to see how excited everyone was. Fan clubs were created and I was nicknamed Air Queen. It's experiences like these that make me love flying even more. Well, that's amazing. I would sure love to fly to some of those places that you have been. T speaking of important flights, do you want to tell us about why we're all gathered here and what's so important about this flight? So this is my second time at the Calgary Stampede. I came last year and I got to fly. Um, it's amazing to be here, to see all these smiling faces, and to see so many people interested in aviation. This year is special though, as I'll be flying a bag of mail from here in Calgary to Edmonton, and this will be the first uh, mail flight in Western Canada. It's such an honor to be here, it's truly unreal. Well, it's an honor for us to have you, and we're all super excited to see you live at the air mail. But, but before you leave, do you have a few more moments for some questions? Yeah, I have time for a few more. Do you hope to plan for the rest of your life? Fly for the rest of your life? I really hope so, but in the case that I can't fly anymore, I have some other plans. Do you want to elaborate on that? So, I've always been interested in how planes fly and would love to design some planes of my own. So, starting my own aircraft company could definitely be an odd possibility. I also had a flight school that I ran with my sister a few years ago, but unfortunately I had to close it last year as I went to Europe to work for the Red Cross. In the event that I couldn't fly anymore, reopening that school would definitely be a problem. Well, that's amazing to hear. It was a great pleasure meeting you today. We would love to wish you best of luck in your future endeavors. And we're super excited to see you leave with the mail. And we also hope that you wish to return to this great city someday. Thank you so much. So I have to prepare for my flight if you'd all like to follow me. Thank you. Clear. 